Hello, my friends. How are you today? Look at this rock. From what you can see, can we change its shape? Think. Yes, we can. If we use a hammer, notice that its shape has now changed. And now, look at these rocks in the mountains. Can we change their shape? Clearly, it would be difficult to use a hammer. This would take a lot of time. Oh my! What is this, my friends? These rocks have changed their shape. But how? Notice that the exposure of these rocks to the sun's rays, the strong winds, day and night, and the rain are all factors that change the shape of these rocks. The earth is made of rocks, and the rocks come in many shapes, which can change the shape of the earth's surface. And that is when these rocks are exposed to various factors, such as water, wind, and temperature changes. These factors break down rocks into rock fragments, which helps change their shape after thousands of years. We call the process that breaks down rocks weathering. Weathering shatters and breaks down rocks. That is why we find that rocks in nature have different shapes and are beautiful. And that is due to the process of weathering. Such as these rocks, and these, and also these. Hmm, however, what happens after the rocks have become rock fragments? Notice, my friends, when it rains and becomes windy again, some of these rock fragments become soil. Look at what happened! Notice how the rock fragments and the soil have moved to another location. So after the weathering process is complete, which is the process of breaking down rocks and changing their shape, the rock fragments begin to move from one place to another either by wind or water. And this process is called erosion. Erosion is the process by which rock fragments are moved from one place to another. So, my friends, the process of weathering and erosion contribute to the damage of the Earth's surface. And these two processes go hand in hand. There are many natural phenomena that we created as a result of weathering and erosion such as these rocks, and these, and the rocks found in running water, they have been shaped by the water's movement and the wind moved them from one place to another. The Earth's surface can also change due to the plants that grow in the cracks found in the rocks. As these plants' roots grow, they break and crack these rocks even more. And as a result, they change the shape of these rocks. And here as well. So wind, water, temperature changes, and plants that grow in cracks of rocks are all factors that change the Earth's surface.
Together, we learned about how the Earth's surface changes, the process of weathering and erosion, some factors that can change the Earth's surface, some natural phenomena that were created as a result of weathering and erosion.